Good day, viewers. Long six years of fan noises. I got me a uh, hybrid power modules. STKICs. They are jamming. New at circuit. Electronics.de shop online. So let's get this amplifier amplifying again. Took a while to get here. Bit slow postage on this one, but let's get these replaced. I've done some tests. This meter works. This one's open circuit. So this one's buggered. Been, uh, the coil inside's gone open circuit, so unfortunately I need to have to try and track in a new meter. Um, yeah, I'll go. Got some new fuses in there. Replace the fuses, so let's get this thing properly fixed. So I'm going to get my proper soldering station out. Because that old circuit board, that, um, the traces peel off extremely easy with the heat. So you don't use that, use one of these soldering stations. This is the one I use to fix my uh, VFT up. I placed the IGBTs on my VFT. Set in about 300, and that was perfect. Didn't damage any traces like that. Okay, I've got it all remedied. I've uh, had to use some, um, I've used braid and made some new traces because this one's just stuffed. The traces are still ripped off on the other one. Just carefully uh, break the flux off to make sure I've got no bridges. See this one here, they yeah, lost the trace all together. This one here, they came off, but I put the pad back on and just soldered it again and made a nice extension to fix that. There you see half the pads went missing all together. This one here, the pad came off the board. But this one here, the pad ripped off all the way to here, so I was going to do some braid, a soldering braid, and made a new trace. I've got another uh, repeat sink compound this bit. There's plenty on the uh, ICs, so there's heat spray, there's plenty of new stuff on it. I'll give it a test. We get some junky speakers to test it on, and a multimeter. It should be okay now. Okay, just do a check, no burn ups or anything. No capacitors getting hot, no pot fuses, so it seems to be all good. Nothing getting normally hot. Do a check before I plug speakers in it, make sure it's all working good. I'll set the multimeter down. The camera in front of it. Let's see what we get now. Okay. Can't really see, can I? I'll get it so both me and the camera can see. I do it the old school way here. The other YouTube experimentation uh, angle view here on a multimeter. So the power there on the right. Yeah, that's kind of weird. What's going on there? Kind of weird. Those readings aren't the same as before. So I'll look at that again off, uh, for myself. Confirm those readings are all good because nothing's getting hot here. No blown fuses, nothing's getting abnormally hot. No heat, so I'm assuming everything's all right. I'm just going to double check before I plug speakers in this. Just bear with me for a second. Yeah, million volts. Yeah, that's all right. It says millivolts, not actual volts. Well, that's perfect. That's what I want. So, that confirms everything is okay. Because before I was getting in the volt range, 78 volts on one of the outputs, but now it all says millivolts DC, which is what you want, because there's nothing plugged into it, and it's turned down. The amp's all good, which is Bobby Dazzler. I'll um, put it back together now, and uh, we'll test it with a signal. I got my big car speakers out, big high powered ones that were tested on those. And this thing's really, really good to go, apart from that blind meter, unfortunately. It's working. Funny loud. The right channel not working. 
Oh, and my watch. I was... Next time, my watch. I was happy. Frustrated that I ain't where I want to yet, but I know that I'm. I chase that check. Yes. Cause I ain't seen a time go by for too many years now. When the stars are high. Oh, my watch. Stop that. Cause I ain't seen a time. Yeah, I ain't seen a time go by. Short legs, lad. That was a shit. But well, I was working now for uh, I don't know why I'm watching. I was not working. Why oh, is my watch not working now? Oh, I'll check the fuses. I wonder what happened there. The watch's not working all of a sudden. The watch was working. Let's check for some. Uh, that fuse there, which is a right channel fuse for the right channel uh, amplifier circuit. I multimeted it, put a plastic fuse, multimeted it, and um, turn on and off. The voltages are the same on all the channels now. For some reason, the other fuse blew. And I had these speakers connected briefly when I turned it on again, and no more big hum. But the first time I turned this thing on, the first time when I blew the fuse in the first time, it powered those speakers up. It had a little bit of hum and DC going to them, and the fuse blew straight away. The second time, the speakers are fine. They uh, didn't harm as much, and they just uh, yeah, had no, no voltage on it. They were normal. They didn't burn out or anything like that. So it's weird. Let's uh, do a quick test like this with the base off, and I'll monitor the fuses. Now I can do it with all the channels working. It should be all right now, because I've just checked everything with the multimeter. Everything seems all right on the outputs. It's a slow blow fuse. There's nothing abnormally hot. No, as this is a fine now. Should be alright now, so let's uh, put these speakers back in and we can uh, play it. Alright, uh, channel working! And then it was going dun 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 to the music. The PNZ was too. This was speeding up and slowing down in the music. That's really cool. Well, the lights not working anymore. That's weird. The right channel's not working anymore. Okay, well, looks like it's blowing the fuse again for the right channel. So, the RCs are all right. What are those little transistors, maybe? Hmm. Tough to find that fault. Okay, well, it'll work for a bit. It's a slow blow fuse. It's a one and a half amp fuse. Yep, it's burnt out. Okay. All right, well, I'll probably jump a little uh, test lamp in there and see what this, this will balance that out. I'll have to do some tests. It's better than what it was, but it's still blowing that fuse. Yeah, but not the speakers this time. There's something wrong on the right channel then, so I'm going to have to investigate this amplifier. But it does work fine other than that. I wonder if it's one of those little transistors here that did it, did it bad. Any of those four transistors might be shorting. I might have to take those out and test them. But to start, we're getting somewhere. I'll just put a little uh, ballast on that just to protect everything. Interesting fault we have on our hands here. It's got a bit of driver transistor then that's uh, doing that. Um, that's probably going to be a bit too much current, but we'll see what happens. 
put this headlight in there. This might be too much, but they're pretty high powered speakers. I'm getting straight there instead of those few speakers, so um, that's kind of odd. I'll have to investigate that. That's really odd. Let's just put this pump across it. A little bit less current, eh? Tricky to fix this amplifier. But those amplifier, the IC sort of certainly made an improvement because they were both kind of. Um, was wasn't doing anything at all, was just blowing fuses straight away, but this is just the I got the right channel down. Let's just connect this up. It's not short that out. It's a cheap little bloody 12 volt pump. So, you know, this is not gonna like it today. I'd rather stick if it was a cheap little bloody 12 volt motor and put uh, some like good speakers on it. Not to short those out. Power on. Try a bigger motor, just see what sort of cart we're dealing with here. Let's be careful there. Okay, turn it on. Now that's it. Yeah, as much as I can pull there, one right. Are correct. No speaker damage, I put the power. These transistors are getting hot. Whoop! That one there. Turn a small band voice coil. That's more powerful than an 80 watt speaker. That's obviously not an 80 watt speaker. Whoop, I think I destroyed that one. But yeah, these uh, transistors here are getting hot. That resistor is getting hot, and these resistors, transistors are getting half as hot. So, those resistors there, those little two resistors aren't hot anymore, they used to get hot before. So these two little driver transistors, so that... <laughs> so there's obviously something dry, dry in the power on that channel, that's putting DC straight to the speakers doing that. The RC is okay. So my guess, it's a little... Uh, yeah, we're not getting too hot because all the power has been taken on this, so... Those two transistors there were from a driver transistors. I reckon that's what's faulty. They're stuck on and they're not switching. They're just matching stuck on. It's a, let's see, it's a C5 V6 G9F. The bottom one. And this one is a C5 V6 G9F. I'll take these out and I'll test them on my um, transistor tester. We'll see what happens. These top two here. Eight, uh, F, let's see, I can't read it properly. It's got crap all over it, like dust. I can't read it. I can't clean it. A608F9H. A608F9H. So these two top transistors could be faulty. So I've got to look at those and replace those and let's see what it does. That to me sounds like it's a switching problem. It's um, there's a transistor not switching and it's just uh, holding power and not actually amplifying. So that, like acting like an AC to um, draw off a speaker. It's actually just putting DC straight from the power supply straight to the speakers. So it's obviously a fault with one of these transistors here. 
So I was, this was dissipating the power of this resistor. So I blocked, virtually blow on this speaker, it was 70 volts, using the 0.47 ohm 2 watt speaker as a ballast. And it's still enough power to destroy that speaker. So I'm um, after a look at getting some new transistors for this thing. So I'll take these out and test them and go from there, to be sure. They don't look like they're that old to be tin whisker. Could be wrong though. There could be tin whiskers inside them. Could be wrong. It's possible. Anyway, it's working progress. That'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.